Now, a lot of people ask me, they say, what is the vein of your existence? What is the thing that bothers you the most in your laundromat? And I know you see these Verizon sitting here, you go, that's what Keenan's biggest gripe is. It's like my second biggest gripe. My first biggest gripe is laundry carts. I don't know what is going on with these laundry carts, but I'm going to show you. Everybody gives me suggestions. They're like, Keenan, buy stronger laundry carts, buy the heavy duty R&B. I do. I'm gonna show you what they do to my carts. This cart's only been in my laundromat three days. Three days. That's me dropping it on the ground because I hate it. Look at that. Three days. Three days. And you say, look at that bar, that's the cheap one. I've got the heavy duty one in my barn. It's a big pipe-like structure. They've cracked it too. Now what I'm gonna do is take this and weld a bar on here and weld a bar on that leg. And the same on those two. I'm gonna take this home and weld it up. But I think, I think what people are doing with these carts, I'm gonna stand this cart up, is I think they push them down, hoping to get them close to the washer door so the door can open up in it. And then they bend them so bad they don't roll. And then they try to fix it. Cause that there, whoever did that, I mean, I didn't bend it like that. So whoever did that tried to bend it back. That's what that's from. That's from bending it forward and back a couple times. So in good fashion, you know, these carts are like two, 200 and some bucks a piece. Sucks. They just can't leave shit alone. And then you got to build this damn bulletproof that they could ride around in it. So I got some more carts. That's a box there. I got an, up, I got an upright box over here. There's, the cages are outside. I'm going to put them together quick. I'm going to go ahead and open this box. in the middle of work, so we don't have a lot of room. Oh, let's see what we got here. This is a cart all by itself. Now see, this one's heavy duty looking. So I don't think this will break. This is the hardware. But this is the bottom. See, it's tubular. This is a lot stronger than what I've had before. Instructions. We don't need no stinking instructions. This one's powder coated. Now it didn't look this way in the picture. The easiest way to assemble these is upside down. Basically just lay it up here, get all your pieces. Here's a package. See, Brandon, Brandon from Investment Joy, he doesn't have these troubles. Because he just doesn't have these problems. This laundromat's perfect. But me and the rest of the folks, these are the problems we get. I right, put those down there. This ain't real exciting, so I'll, I mean, I don't need to show you how to put a laundry cart together. I don't think you'll find that whole lot fascinating. Now this was a pleasant surprise. I, I wondered uh, the other carts in the other room, but I had all three poles, sets of poles or tops or racks in a box. Then I had two boxes. I had one box that was in pieces. The wheels weren't attached to the bottoms and you had the basket. In this box, the two baskets, then they already attached the wheels for me. I mean, these people are super nice. Probably made it easier for them, but I'm telling you, this sped it way up on me. So note to self, buy two at a time, and they come halfway assembled. So. Well, like that, I got all three carts put out there so they can use them. Now I gotta take this bad boy home and weld it back up. There's no sense in throwing it away. I may take and start matching carts so it doesn't look so weird. I may take these chrome looking ones that are fixed up. I may take them to my first laundromat and then keep buying new ones for this one. I like everything to match. I want customers to think that I care about details because the details is what's gonna really make your place pop and really stand out, so. Well, today's project, I know there's a new toy in the barn. I gotta put my snow plow away. It snowed a couple days ago. I don't like to leave my snow plow hooked up because it just gets in the way when you're driving around and I swear I'm gonna run into a car or something. 
So we gotta unhook the plow, put it in the barn here, and then uh, I'm gonna go look at those 80 pound washers I got up in that other building. I wanna see what the bearings look like, cause I've never changed them before. So this is gonna be a fun time, cause I have no idea what I'm in for. And that's kind of how I operate. I just, I just go right into it. So let's get this thing in here and unhooked and let's get to that project. Now I gotta remember how to do this because I screw this up every time. You always have to have this plow and float to unhook it or to hook it up. And I swear every time I do this, I forget. And I gotta go get the jack stand for it. My poor jack stand has been beat up over the years. Hmm. The only thing about the snow dog you gotta watch is how you hook your jack stand up. The pin pins out. I gotta fix some of this because I bought off a guy that really didn't take very good care of it. And he let the jack stand underneath here fall apart. And so it, it doesn't rest on it all the time. Because it got to where he wasn't paying attention to how to do this. Now all we got to do is unplug it and back out. That's how simple it is. You just unhook it and back right out. I mean, it's actually a great plow. People give them a hard time, but I like it for what a little I paid for it. Well, I have never, I'm gonna tell you right now, I've never pulled this 180 pounder apart. So this is gonna be new. I need to. See how bad this is gonna be. Oh, we forgot one. Oh, take this cover off. Look at the size of that. Wow. 
I'm going to show you how big this is. This is insane. I have not had one of these apart yet. There's actually grease fittings. So I wonder if somebody just didn't grease them. But it's got two, it's got a double belt. It's some kind of sensor up there that I could screw up real easy. I don't know what that is. Look at this. Looks like we got three bolts here to take off this plate. Then we got to get this off, this cast iron pulley. It's got a housing there for a bearing. Then it looks like it has a sleeve and another bearing. Wow. This looks like it's going to be a fun time. Woo wee. I installed one of these on one laundromat, but I never had the privilege of having to do any bearings to it. So this is going to be a fun project. So I'm going to come back here later and start removing this. Get a puller, pull this off, get the belts off. I mean, look at this motor. Look at that thing. Is, that's pretty massive for a washer. Man. Okay, this is going to be a fun time. Wow. I know the bearings are bad in it, but I don't hear it. Yeah, I, I don't hear it. Oh well. Well, we'll be back. That's it for tonight. I got the carts put in. Still got more work to do yet. Never ends. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time. Take it easy.